On this channel, I do review a lot of Dunk Lows, and as you know, I am a huge, huge fan of the Dunk Low. I think value for money, pound for pound, one of the best sneakers you can get on the market right now is a Nike Dunk Low. However, I do get asked a lot, what is the difference between a normal Nike Dunk Low and a SB Nike Dunk Low? And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what that is. Let's get straight into it. Hey, my people, my name is Rom. So what's the difference? The Nike Dunk Low, the GR Dunks, and the SB Dunk. And I think the first thing we have to look at is the box because the box is pretty different for both sneakers. So for the GR Dunk, you do get a usual red and white box and you pretty much get every other Nike sneaker in this red and white box. So nothing too special about it. But when it comes to the SBs, you do get this purple box in most cases. This is what they've been dropping recently. Obviously we have had some yellow green boxes before, which I actually picked up my SB Chunky Dunkies in. But recently this is the box that we have been getting and it says Nike SB on it. So that's one of the main differences. Another massive, massive difference between both these sneakers is the materials. And if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know I am not a fan of the Nike don't close the GR dunks because the materials have been pretty, pretty dreadful the last couple of years. And that is where the similarities of these shoes completely differ because when it comes to the SB dunks, you do get the best possible materials you can get on a sneaker on these SB dunks. This suede on this pair is absolutely incredible. But in contrast, when it comes to the GRs, you do get this horrible plasticky like material and as soon as you give it a couple of wears you can see on this one it's been worn the leather is all over the place it looks like it's been cracked it's just not gonna hold up and it's a big big difference when it comes to these two sneakers the quality and the attention to detail that they put into the SBs is really really great and I don't really understand why because these sneakers do retail at the same price this was 89 pounds in the UK and this is 89 pounds as well so they can make these shoes a lot better, but they just don't. But when it comes to the SBs, you do get some amazing, amazing materials. So the laces are really nice. You can look at the laces on these, they're proper, proper laces. In contrast, when it comes to the laces on these GR Dunks, it just feels like the leather on it, it feels very plasticky. It doesn't feel like cotton, it feels more like nylon. Whereas on here, it feels really, really nice. And you can see that it's a really, really nice touch to the shoe. And the SBs, they do give us some really nice colorways, some really cool collaborations. The only problem I have with the SBs are, it's just that they're just too bulky. They just look too bulky on feet for me. And that's the only thing I don't like. But when it comes to these, these look so, so much better on feet, in my opinion. They just look a lot more sleek, a lot more streamlined in, in in contrast to this shoe. Another thing that is a big giveaway for the SBs as well, the tongue you get on the SB is a lot more bulky and a lot more straight, it's just a lot bigger on the shoe. And if you look at that, it's a lot more big. When you look on the GR Dunk, it's pretty thin and there's not much support. And that's because the SB does stand for skateboard and these are skateboarding shoes. And if you look on the sock liner inside, it just looks like a normal sock liner, nothing too great in there but when you look on the sock liner in the back of this shoe you can see that this shoe is definitely made for skating it's got the, the support for the heel in there so another thing we need to talk about is sizing for these two sneakers because they are pretty different in my opinion so when it comes to the normal gr dunks i usually go through the size and they fit absolutely perfect no issues they just fit like a normal nike sneaker would but when it comes to the sbs i always go a half a size up because if you look at the shoe in the front of the shoe it's a bit more narrow than the other one. So I do tend to find that these kind of squeeze my feet a little bit more if I go through the size. So I always go at least a half a size up in these and they fit absolutely perfect. And it's just a more bulky shoe because if you look at both the shoes together, you can see that one is a bit more straight, like that one is a little bit more straight, but this one is a bit more wider and bulky at the top. So that makes the shoe it feels a little bit different on feet to be honest. Yes, my people, that is it for this video today. That was just a quick recap on the differences between a SB Dunk and a GR Dunk. Any questions, hit me in the comments. I am happy to help. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. We're on the way to 2K. Peace.